Okay, welcome back everyone. My name is Greg and I'm here to talk to you about Legendary DXP. Specifically, we're going through the campaign and we're talking about each level a little bit, talking about the, the scenario, talking about the mastermind, and, and giving you some tips on you know, the strategies that I've used that have gotten me success um, and, and allowed me to beat them. Um, just, I guess, to give you guys a starting point so that you can uh, take that and run with it and just, you know, slay this game, which is amazing. And I think that it really, uh, really deserves a lot more, uh, shall we say, attention from the, the gaming populace because I love it so, so very much. All right, so one, two, this is our second video and we can see what we're jumping into. So I'll just go ahead and jump into it. Typical, typical. Like I, like I said before, you know, just with the the number of cards possible here in the villain deck being relatively low, there's only 22 cards usually. This one actually is 21 cards. Um, yeah, it's it's rough, and so there's a high number of these cards are going to be scheme twists and basically hastening you to your doom. Um, Boy. So this one, um, I'll just talk about it real quick. Uh, again, we have uh, Kalila. Uh, Ka Kalila. Yeah, Kalila is our mastermind. One of these days, maybe I'll learn how to say it properly. Um, each time a master strike comes out, every uh, every player needs to KO a hero from their hand, which I actually like because I like to get rid of the lower level um, less valued cards. Um, the Growing Darkness is actually one of my favorite schemes. It's it's pretty cool. It's another one of those that's a race against the clock, unfortunately. I, I generally don't like those, but this one I do like because it's, it's got a really cool theme and, and so forth. Seven twists, um, and basically each time, um, each time that a twist comes out, Glowing, uh, the growing darkness envelops the um, <clears throat> the next spot along the way, starting with the mastermind and then going uh, through the the villain spots up top. Um, Alment, uh, yeah, uh, Alamith, Alamith, not Minth. Um, Alamith is is basically where the heroes go at the top of the road, the mountains, and so forth. But anyways, Growing Darkness is going to just go ahead and check off that next box. Check off the next spot going uh, from left to right. Um, and the villain in that spot is going to get a plus one uh, attack to defeat it, which is not great because our, our Mastermind is already up to eight now uh, because the first card was a Scheme Twist. Rotten. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, I like this because it... it instills an, an appropriate uh, sense of dread, I would say, to the player because you're racing against the clock. Uh, now, there are two really great heroes that we're playing with. We saw Hog already. Again, he's one of my favorite heroes. He is all about massing money and then turning that money into attack versus Mal, who is also really awesome. He's about... Uh, using those fixer type heroes, which is this symbol, and conveniently, this is the same symbol as those basic cards, the uh, the envoys and the guards, and taking those and turning it into a deck. So that's pretty awesome. So. So yeah. We're gonna we're gonna have to make the tough decision, and I I generally feel like this it's better to stick with one hero primarily and go that route. Um, I think I'm gonna do Mal uh, just based on the 
the cards that he has. There are there are some really good synergies with Hog as well, um, but I think I'm I'm going to focus mostly on uh, on Mal. Uh, so I'm going to have to get rid of a Hog, and I th think just for the utility of this giving me plus two money, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Although this one also it's cheaper. This one takes longer to go ahead and trigger the ability. I'm going to get rid of this one. It shouldn't matter too terribly much at this point which which one I went with. Um, but okay, so I'm going to mass the cards that have the fixer alignment uh, affiliation team whatever um, and you'll see pretty you'll see pretty quickly why that is so I'll go ahead and play this I get three and three I don't need my three attack it doesn't do anything for me uh, but I have three money and I will go ahead and buy this bad Larry um, wave of sickness mal grave more uh, he is a fixer and this is the magic symbol so if you've already played a magic, your synergy is you get plus one attack, so <coughs> cough, cough. Uh, play it, you get two attack, possibly three attack. For three, money is a good value. Good, good value. So I'll just, I guess, read these cards real quick. We have Finger of Death, Malgrave More, or defeat any villain or mastermind whose value to attack or value to defeat is less than the number of fixer heroes in the KO pile. He likes to KO heroes, uh, so uh, heroes just as much as he likes to um, use them for uh, turning it into attack and defeating. This is actually not my favorite card of his, even though it potentially has a lot of value. There's one that I think is better, and when it comes out, I will talk very much about that. Um, but anyways, uh, so that's that. That's a good one to have somewhere down the line. Okay, then we got the shakedown from Hog. He has Orin's Wall. That is the ring symbol. Is Orin's Wall is that faction? He's a strength hero. If I've played another strength hero, I get plus two money. But normally it's two, possibly up to four or three money. That is also great value if you have that synergy. This is amazing if you have the synergy. Dead Eye. Orin's Wall, he is a ranger. If you've played another ranger, you get plus three attack, so potentially go from three to six attack with one car. Well, I guess technically two because you've already played the other one, but I'm... Yeah. Come on, Greg, focus. Okay. We already talked about this one, and we already talked about this one, so let's get our game going. I'm going to buy this wave of sickness because I like WoW. I like Mal, and I don't have any attack I can do. Another one there. All right. Let's see. Up oh, another scheme twist. Again, with such a small villain deck, you have a high likelihood that you're going to be pulling scheme twists. And in these race, these race against uh, the the deck kind of uh, scenarios, it's it's pretty rotten. I hate to do it. I really do. I hate to get rid of this dead eye, but I'm going to have to. And the reason why I have to is this guy is really focused on these fixer heroes and he's got a lot of attack value with those cards. And Hog is really about the money. That's his main focus. And by having these and a, a liberal uh, helping of these mirror um, of the, the mirror shuffle bottoms. That's how I'm going to buy additional cards like this super expensive one over here. The one that I'm looking for for Mal is actually six, uh, six money to buy, and it's going to be immediately helpful with my deck composition. So, alrighty, so five and one. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and grab this other Mal. Okay, Assimilate. This is a great card for my purposes because you may KO a Fixer Hero from your hand or discard pile. And that is huge. That is the key. Hand or discard pile. 
If you do, you may gain you may gain a mare shuffle bottom to your hand. So I can go through my discard pile and get all of the envoys, all of the guards. I mean, one at a time, of course, but I can get rid of those and add more money to my hand, which is clutch. It is awesome. It is cool. It is great. It bumps this guy up. It makes it so that these, you know, the, the lesser cars are upgraded, eff effectively upgraded. Um, and that's, that's awesome. The slight problem that you can run into when you're, when you're running as Mal is you can have too many of the Mare Shuffle Bottom. You're going to have too many of them, so you aren't able to get the high numbers of attack that you want. But, you know, toss in a couple of these um, these hogs. Or even if you get the big hog. <laughs> I know, I know, I just said that. You get the, the big value um, <laughs> hog drill. Um, and, and you're golden. Um, but it's just, it's hard sometimes to have that balance of, well, do I need the mayor or do I not? All right, moving right along. I have two money and one attack. I can't do anything, so we'll move along. What do we have? What do we have? Hopefully it's a villain. Oh, it's a villager. Villager is going to go over here and sit nicely behind this mastermind. Not doing much for us. Okay, we don't have... A lot we can do. We have one, two, three, four, five, attack, two money. Not gonna do anything for me. And this is this is one of the rotten things. Occasionally just RNG is gonna bite you. I don't have enough money to buy anything. I don't have enough attack to defeat anything, so I gotta just end my turn. Rotten. Rotten, rotten, rotten. Okay, here we have the spoils of battle. Um, Ernak, fight, you may gain a mare shuffle bottom, which is awesome for my purposes. Um, can't fight it. I can't fight him now. I only got one attack. And I'm going to just go ahead and play my cards so that I can get my assimilate and get Mosian on down. Love to hear from you guys. If I am talking about a strategy that doesn't actually make sense or you haven't found effective you found something that's better I want to hear I want to hear what you guys are doing that makes it that is is better um, because I, I'm just kind of showing what I've been doing I haven't really uh, done the number crunching a tremendous amount um, in order to you know say whether or not this is the most effective or this is most efficient um, and, and you know, I'd love to hear from you. So one of the things I really should have talked about in my uh, overall strategy, overall um, overview, basically one one, um, you got to be you got to be pretty flexible. So like right now, I got all of these hogs, and then I have my mal. Um, I guess I'm talking for future turns because I can't buy anything now. But you know, sometimes you're only going to have one character up here, and you want other characters instead you like if i was like i am targeting mal over hog then having all these hog cards are kind of an impediment it, it makes it so I, i'm gonna have to wait and get closer to my demise um so you really gotta be you gotta be careful and gotta be cognizant of that um because you want to you want to put out the best deck that you can and you want to have the most efficiency that you can uh, so that you can go in and, and start attacking stuff and, and and have a chance at success. All right, to the death. Each player without an Ernak villain in their victory pile gains a wound, and if they escape, if the guy escapes, then we have the same effect. Cost five, gives me three victory points. Um, no synergies in my hand, so I'm just going to hit the play button. I'm going to go ahead and defeat this guy, because I have three attack. And then I also have four money, which I need to consider what I'm going to do. Probably just going to go out and grab this mare. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab the mare. So double click on a card and you will defeat it. Um, so go ahead and yes, I'll take my mare shuffle bottom, get that extra money, uh, and eventually it will be good, I promise. Eventually it will be good. Oh boy, got another scheme twist already. I haven't had any synergies in my hand or anything like that, and I'm already getting very close to death. 
Um, I, I'm going to have to consider getting one of these later. I already said I didn't really want to. I'm going to have to consider it because that three attack in one card is is very good. It's very good. Another assimilate will help me. Um, when I am playing those, I'll, I'll be able to basically increase the potency of my hand, uh, which is going to be pretty good. I almost just ended my turn, which would have been catastrophic. Uh, so I have three attack and I have four money, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and grab this Assimilate in just a moment. And actually, this is a good uh, good time to mention that there is one more thing that I would pretty well recommend. You know, number one is, is buy the, the beginner bundle because for five dollars you basically you un you effectively you unlock the the campaign mode um f fully so that you can play as much as you want you don't have to deal with the the and en the energy and the the freemium aspect and you get a you know get some other stuff too but whew, a lot of words there greg a lot of words buy the beginner bundle but also go here under the gear animation currently at one yonk go ahead and put that up at two Go ahead and put that up at two. It's going to make things like playing the cards, um, and then you know, seeing seeing the the cards as they come out. It's going to make it you have a more streamlined uh, experience, and it's going to make it so that you are playing faster and, and able to get in more games. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing. All right, go ahead and take my assimilate. Got another wave of sickness. I have no money and three attack that I can't do. So moving right along. You see how quick that was. That was beauteous. Absolutely beauteous. So, go ahead and play my Mal, and, you know, just because I want to. I, I don't, unfortunately, I don't have any in my discard pile, so I'll go ahead and get rid of this Envoy. Yes, I do want a Shuffle Bottom. So, now I have three and three, so I'll go ahead and I will defeat the... Uh, spoils of battle, and I will use my three money to get the wave of sickness attack. Yes, I want it. Now, I really need to start thinking about whether or not it makes sense for me to gain more Mare Shuffle Bottoms without getting rid of another card by virtue of the um, Assimilate or the Master Strike. I need to think about, am I clogging my hand, am I clogging my deck with the Mare? Right now, I'm not getting a tremendous amount of money on any given turn. I don't have a potent uh, a potent deck, a potent hand. Um, so I have to, I just need to th keep thinking about that. Oh boy, that's the money. That's the money right there. Grim Determination for Mal Gravemore. It is a fixer, it is a strength, and it costs six. When you play it, it's one attack. But you get plus one attack for each other fixer you play this turn. Woo! Fixer, 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 fixer. All the cards in my deck are fixers. That's what I need to get. That's what I need to get. Alright. That's what I'm aiming for. Even if I end up with eight money, I'm not going for this one yet because I want this. Assimilate. Uh, ooh. Ha 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 ha. I almost made a mistake. Gotta go and get rid of this on boy. Yes, I want a mere shuffle bottom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beauteous. So I'm not gonna get the synergy on him. Uh, I don't really need the attack. Um, I, you know, I can't can't defeat these guys. So this one, this one's a pretty nice one. If uh, again, you're you're looking to get the victory points. This card is worth plus three victory points for each other Ernak villain in your victory pile at the end of the game. Oh, Cost six to defeat. That's pretty great because, well, we're playing the Ernax. That's that's why it's pretty great. Um, so actually, this is a good time to point out down here we have. Um, this is basically your progress toward getting stars, and that's, again, marking uh, your success in defeating what degree of success after you've beaten the, the, the scenario, uh, the level, if you will. What, what degree is that? So at 20 victory points, you get, you, know, you get one star. At 25, you get two stars. Three stars at 40, and four stars, which is um, three stars, and then they turn yellow. Uh, on that main level selection screen. 
45. 45. So it is it is possible to get a lot of victory points, and that's really what you're... I mean, that's, that's kind of the, the emphasis of, of this particular version of the game. But anyways, go ahead and just play. Not going to get enough to buy this guy, but I didn't really want him yet either, because I want... Yes! Get a couple of those, and I am on easy streak, and I will have a fast track to defeating Kalila. Alright, moving right along. Can't do much with two attack. Hmm, yikes. Alright, again, not touching you with a ten foot pole. I'm not touching you. Alright, um... Two, three, four, five. Five money and three attack. Three attack isn't going to do anything for me. Three money. I guess this is a good time for me to buy this guy. Because I'm starting to get more money. I'm starting to get more money. And this is good because I'll be able to have that money. And I'll... Ooh, hoo, 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 we made more room for my good friend, Mal. Oh, I shall play him. Ah, uh, let's see. Get rid of a hero costing three or less. I'll go ahead and get rid of you. There, there are again. There are some mal or some hogs that I will consider wanting in my deck and so forth. But right now, I'm I'm riding that wave of fixers. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. Six to defeat him. Oof. Now I could defeat you, but I'm not going to because I'm not an idiot. Uh, let's see. Mm. Don't want another mare like that. I don't really want this, but I need attack. So I guess I'm going to take it. And it's okay to not buy something. In fact, uh, in the scenarios where you get a lot of wounds not buying anything and not attacking on the turn is not necessarily bad because you can get rid of a wound out of your deck. You can heal it uh, if you don't acquire any cards or defeat any cards. Okay, we've got that Leprechaun. Happy to see you. <laughs> um, ah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer, but at least I'll be able to use him to buy the other Mal. I'm gonna go ahead and just flip this. Hit that play button. Mosey on down to victory. So I have eight attack. Hiya. Hit plus three attack, so I can go ahead and hiya. So again, I gotta defeat her three more times. Um, ooh, seven? Seven twists. So at least a third of this deck, of the villain deck, is going to be scheme twist. So I, I could potentially pull scheme twists the next three turns and just be out of it, and I'd be in a lot of trouble. So. Try and maximize my attack potential at this point, and we'll see what we can do. Scheme twist! Play my assimilate, go through my discard pile, get rid of that envoy. Yes, I'll take that. How much money do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Five money and three attack. I don't care for any of this. care for any of it. All right, go ahead and assimilate. Go into, I don't have a discard pile, so I'll go ahead and get rid of, well, that mare. I, 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 sh I suppose I should have gotten rid of the guard instead. Um, it wouldn't have made too much of a difference as I still would have had seven money, Uh, seven money and one attack. I'll go ahead and grab this. 
and grab this. Um, ooh, another one of these just came into my life, which is beauteous. We're hurting. We're hurting. Um, I do not have eight money, which is awful, but... Although, I play you, and I go through my discard pile and get rid of you. There we go. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So I will get that bonus, which is great. I'll go ahead and put you. Come on. Put you over here. Put you over here. And hit that play button and start to wreak some havoc. Okay, nine and nine. Defeat you. What do we get from it? Ah, uh, this is this is a not so awesome thing. Uh, it, it's good in this particular scenario because I can get rid of one of the lesser valued cards. Um, but sometimes you, you have a fairly impossible choice. Uh, so be it. That's, that's what you gotta do. So I, um, that was probably a mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have, I should have kept the, um, should have kept the Mal and, and got rid of the guard, um, in terms of putting back onto my my draw deck and and getting rid of the other one uh, to the discard pile. So be it. All right. Go ahead and buy you. Assimilate. Don't really need at this point. All right. Five scheme twists. Six scheme twists. This is this is the real struggle. This is the real struggle of this game is is the randomization and this next one could end me or it could be the fifth one so i have at most five turns in which to get my act together and uh defeat so this is going to be a good one it'll be a good one yeah again sometimes that happens so be it Play all these cards, get some money, get some attack. Boom! Ten attack. This is filthy good, guys. This card is filthy, filthy, filthy good. All right. Attack you. I get four money. I got seven money. Do I want anything in here? Yes. I want this guy. He's not. He's he's orange. He's orange wall. He's not a fixer, but he's three attack. In, I need attack because I need to defeat the mastermind one more time in order to succeed and I potentially am gonna lose it right here I'm potentially going to lose the game right now and I can't control that villain escape so that means another hero went up here um, you know it, it's it's rotten to see them go because you you don't get the victory points um, and some of them have particularly ooh, 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 ooh. Love that. Love that. Uh, with the exception of the fact that I'm I'm not going to have enough to um, defeat the Mastermind this turn. Which potentially will mean that I'm going to lose. Uh, I'm going to... I mean, it doesn't do me any, anything. I'm not going to get rid of him to, uh, to add another one. So... We have five attack... I got six money. Mm, really would have loved to have grabbed that. Can't do it. So let's go ahead and defeat this guy. I'm going to choose not to get the mirror shuffle bottom. And my turn in. Am I gonna lose? Up. Oh, I lost. So you know even. Even on what I would consider to be a fairly easy scenario, you're racing against the clock and you will potentially lose because you don't have your act together. I I did have that one dead hand turn, which is a little bit unavoidable sometimes due to random number generator. Uh, but still, I think that I was I think I was grooving pretty well toward the end. Um, I think that I think that if, if given another turn or two, I would have I would have succeeded. Um, but them's the brakes, you know. Can't really control how fast the the villain cards are pulled and what order they're pulled, with the exception of that stupid uh, 
guy that flips over two villain cards when you fight him for four. Ugh. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. I will never in in any round will I play and fight that guy. Well, I mean, maybe there are some scenarios, but I won't fight him that way. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Mal didn't work out this time, but I think that you guys were, were seeing the potential for him. Uh, Hog, again, is is filthy, filthy good. If you mass money, you will have mass attack. Um, between the Dead Eye and then the Well Spent, those two cards are amazing. Uh, we'll get you lots and lots of um, attack, so you'll be able to defeat the Mastermind uh, pretty, pretty handily with that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know if you have an alternate strategy that you are going with um, and, and are finding success with. I'd love to hear from you. And check back in a few days. I will move on to the next level. All right, bye, guys.